it's bad luck to open an umbrella inside, isn't it? There is bad luck to use cereal inside while you're trying to get a huge baby. Yeah, I don't think it's a good look. Where's Susu, Susu and the Wolfman? That's us here today Wolfman. with hey. you. How are you? The dog's branching around for Cheryl. Yeah, he's got some Cheerios and he's throwing to the dogs while he speaks to you with his mouth full. As if he's not it's hard enough to it? understand in the first place. It's not bad luck to eat Cheerios. You know what? Your hair looks good. Oh, I took the shower today. Amy. Da -da 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 -da. After missing two hair appointments, not for his own fault, he finally got his hair cut. So I know Amy would appreciate that. Yeah. Hair cut is one of the few things I actually want to get. Uh, I did think I'd get my beard cut off, but I decided at the last moment I would. Yeah. Take a, take a break. You do something a little different. So uh, actually, it was Amy Goodson who told me about this video, and I watched a little of it, and then I decided I want to react to it with Wolfman. It's, um, what's it called, honey? Oh, Kids Interview Bands. That's the name of their page. And um, the one Amy sent to me was <clears throat> of Sabaton with Hannes being interviewed. Sabaton. Hannes is which one? Laura's husband. He plays what? Drums. Okay. He took my drumsticks. Drums. You have two now? Yeah, this is Hannes. Yeah, I found the other one. Somebody hid the other one, and then I still can't find oh, my egg shape. You're the guy from uh, Dead Lover. <laughs> that's I think well Kent commented that or someone oh, else said that. Okay. Yeah. Um so I'm interested to see what this little girl has to ask on us of Sabaton and also um how he responds to her because this was done 2014. So uh that's nine years ago. So oh, I believe at that point, Freya was not born yet, so he didn't have a daughter, but let's see how he acts with this. Well, Freya now? I don't know. I was thinking six. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, put that in the box. You did it. I guess you were readier than I was. You're the garbage truck outside. Sorry, guys. Go to the door and flash the garbage man. Did you? No. Nah. Well, you know, I will. Where did my bear go? Over there. Or when we finish this video, I'll tell you. Really? Thanks for sticking it out with us. Everybody's like, mm -hmm. and they'll come back in. Three minutes. I've done anything. Okay. Hi, I'm Piper, and I'm from KidgenRevans.com, and I'm here with Sabaton. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Hannes van Dahl. I'm the drummer of Sabaton, and I'm happy to be here with you. What's your favorite way to travel? By bus, plane, train, car, or by boat? Mm, good question. I, I would say like one of the things I miss most when I'm on tour is driving my own car. But long travels, I prefer a, a bus, a nightliner. Flying is not my my cup of tea. What's scarier, night witches or night witches or smoking snakes? I would say the night witches. They are they were the scariest ones. Yeah. Did you have anything special you couldn't sleep without, like a blanket or a stuffed animal? <laughs> stuffed animal? Like what, if I have now something or when I was a kid? When you were a kid. Oh, with, that I couldn't sleep without? Mm. Uh, oof. I had my teddy bear, I think. Yeah. A really worn old teddy bear called Sorrow. Who was your favorite band when you were nine, and do you still like them? My favorite band when I was nine? That would have been um, Metallica. Yes. Still, still liking them, yeah. Have you ever looked into a crowd during a concert and seen, some, seen something that makes you laugh? Oh, repeat that please. I, I can hear you. Have you ever looked into a crowd during a concert and seen something that makes you laugh? Oh, many times. <laughs> 
sometimes just people's sheer excitement can make people look pretty funny because <laughs> they're so into it and and it makes me laugh because I, I get also excited by their excitement but when you when you're too excited you don't look too smart that's for sure yeah what is something you've bought in the last year that has changed your life oh Change my life buying things that change my life. Change my life. Hmm. That's a hard question. Last year. Yeah, I, I've been buying a lot of books. I've been reading a lot. So my books has actually changed my life. Because I hope I got a little bit smarter. I don't know, but yeah, I got a different ways of thinking through my books. So yeah, I would say my books. Is there a food that you didn't like as a kid that you like now? Olives, feta cheese, yeah, pesto. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I didn't like that I'm happy I conquered and I love. What about you? Um, ah, yeah, you, you don't know yet, but <laughs> is there any food you don't like? Most vegetables. Most vegetables, yeah. Give it a couple of years and you'll like it. It's a promise. What were, you, what were you afraid of when you were a kid? I was afraid of heights. And I still am. I can't stand heights. Not my thing. And finally, can you name all the Spice Girls? <laughs> Sporty Spice? Come on. Are there four? Five. 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 Sporty Spice. Oh, I think that's it. Hmm. Can you give me a hint? Only one of them is an actual spice. Oh, come on. I don't know if it's good or bad. It's probably good that I don't know more than that. I can't. I can't say sporty spice. No. No, I surrender. Can you? Can you? Posh, baby, ginger, sporty, and scary. Scary spice? What's there? Oh, so ginger spice. It's the, it's the extra spice. All right, good. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you very much for having me. She held so her. was cute. adorable. And she did well. She did well. I think they said she's nine there, so that's very young to keep she your baby in the She's 18 now, right? I know, I can't hear you with all those Cheerios in your mouth. Sure, I mean, Just I'm not, she's my dad been twice. Um, did she do, do more of those? Did she do more interviews? Uh, I know that there are more interviews because I looked up kids interviewing, ba kids interview bands, and I found a couple that, um, like Izzy Hale, Lizzie Hale and, um, Grace Potter. Oh, nice. And I was just looking through the whole catalog of who these kids have interviewed, and it's really just neat to see the interaction. Well, here um, she is again. Yeah, she she does it for a lot of. Amen. Amen. Anymore. That's cool. Though. I wonder yeah. how she gets the connections to do it. I haven't even gone to their page. It's called Kids Interview Bands. And um, what I was kind of saying is that I really like the way that he interacted with her because yeah. he did not, he wasn't above her level or he too far off. It was just like uh, very polite yeah. and put her at ease. And um, he did well. I don't know all the Spice Girls. I don't know any of them. I don't but think he said he said they're not good, so I was probably don't know. I'm like, that's not true. That's well, no, he said maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. I'm being a thirty-year-old man. Oh, I thought he was saying they weren't be good. They they may not be good, but I they have good harmonies and they dance and stuff. That's all I remember about. Them. Yeah, people liked them and they made a bazillion dollars. So there you go. Alrighty then. Well, I like that Hannes represented Sabaton with this, and yeah. um, I want to look at some of the other ones. Thank you. If you know of any of these type interviews or any interviews that you'd like to see us cover, please do, because they're fun to watch. Yes. I yes. learn more stuff.
all the time. All she should write. Yeah. And Sabaton teaching us shit. They always do that, don't they? Yeah, that's kind of their thing. So. Hey, loved it. Love you guys. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Comment down below and let us know about any other interviews you'd like us to do. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. And until we see you again. Hey, hold on. Somebody wants to say hello. Be blessed. Ish. Ish. My good friend Bonnie showed up. <laughs> Bonnie. She didn't want to come out of the closet. I mean, come out of the dirt, the makeup. I don't know. Did she bring the courtyard? Friends of mine had her in the, their living room. Uh, that was some show. This goes out to you. And they were, I think they were going to throw her away, maybe. And uh, immediately when I went into her apartment and saw her, I was like, I've got to have that. And then the other night, my, my someone knocked on my door and opened up, and Travis is standing there with a the horse. He's like, You forgot this. And, and that goes back to April. I had completely forgotten. Yeah. I love it when you get things like that because Ish. they cost like zero or a dollar. And you get so thrilled out of them. And it's not like a, you know, thousand dollars um, musical equipment. Right. That will happen in the future. But right now, free. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I All right, so I said be blessed. Don't worry, man. My hand looks awful. Shaking hand? It's shaking.